Hey y'all, it's Brody from the channel Et Tu Brody. I am a non-binary gay booktuber, and for this recommendation video, I am going to recommend Every Day by David Levithan. This was the first David Levithan book I ever read. It follows a character named A who wakes up every day in a different body. A has no set gender. A doesn't really identify as anything except A. And A falls in love with a girl named Rhiannon, and the book follows the two of them trying to navigate this romance and Rhiannon's sexuality and all of that stuff. It's a beautiful story. It introduced me to David Levithan, who is now one of my favorite authors of all time, and I felt very represented in the fact that A doesn't have to identify as anything and doesn't feel the need to identify as anything, and that's something that A and Rhiannon struggle with, and I found that to be very realistic. I hope you have a wonderful whatever it is, wherever you are. I love you. Bye. Hi, I'm Rocky from the booktube channel Blonde with a Book, and one book that made me feel really represented in a multitude of my identities is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Read. I unfortunately don't have my copy with me, but it is a book that follows a woman named Evelyn Hugo who is Cuban-American and she is navigating her entire life as far as her relationships with seven different husbands as well as going after her goals in Hollywood, and I identified with her and, and absolutely love her for multiple reasons, not only because she's this incredibly empowered, invigorating but still flawed young woman but also because she is Cuban American and that's a really important component of her identity as far as being whitewashed and having people kind of overlook that for her and I'm Cuban American myself and then also the fact she is bisexual and although I identify as queer and not bisexual the way she navigates her relationships with men compared to women and the way she wants all of that to be very visible and doesn't want anyone erasing different components of her identity and kind of narrowing her down to only being attracted to one gender as opposed to two or more was really important to me and made me feel really seen and um, I absolutely loved that book and getting to have a character that represented both a component of my ethnic identity as well as my sexual identity was really important to me and um, it was one of the first adult romances or adult novels that I've ever read but uh, it just means the absolute world to me. Hello, my name is Sarah and I'm from the channel Kesara Reads and Writes. Today I wanted to recommend you a book that really impacted me and that is Not Otherwise Specified by Hannah Moskowitz. Not Otherwise Specified follows Etta. She feels like she doesn't fit in really anywhere. She is not gay enough to fit in with the dykes, she isn't skinny and white enough to do ballet, and she isn't sick enough to be considered anorexic. This book just spoke to me on so many levels. The eating disorder rep in this book is phenomenal. However, the main reason I'm recommending this book in this video is because of the amazing portrayal of Etta's bisexuality. Etta is an on-page bisexual from the start and she deals with a lot of bisexual erasure, which is a very, very real issue. The incredible journey of self-discovery and Etta becoming comfortable in her identity, trying to figure out the people that she needs in her life and the people she should let go of, and seeing how Bianca deals with Etta's bisexuality and her brother's gayness, how she tries to figure out how that meshes with her own religious belief is really amazing, and how Etta does immediately say you are my enemy when Bianca is trying to figure out how she feels about it. I think the way just so many amazing complex issues and different types of identity are interwoven in this story and the different narratives that are told surrounding these different identities and the different stereotypes that are dealt with is just absolutely phenomenal and I would highly highly recommend this book to everyone. Hi, I'm Gigi from The Study in Gigi, and I am bisexual. I identify as she slash her, and a book that had a really big impact on me is technically a character, but because of his impact in the series, that had an impact on me, and so I'm going to go with the Mortal Instruments series by Cassie Clare. Magnus Bane was the first bisexual character that I ever read about. He means so much to me. He helped me so much going, <laughs> growing up, and I'm so thankful for having him be my first spy character ever. It means the world to me, and I love him so much. 